WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Soggy, Delray Beach, uh, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And as of 2 p.m., we still have all the indices trading the upside with the exception being the uh, now the uh, transports are down 41 points. The Dow's up 45, S&P 4, NASDAQ 130, Russell's up 5, semis are up 15. We're going to go take a look at the uh, ETFs for the indices as well as some of the sectors inside the S&P 500. We'll begin by taking a look at the QQ. Q series ETF upper left hand side. What we notice here is that price is still below its TD9 breakdown level of 368.79 without any kind of bottoming, bottoming signal in place. That says price may target 340.15. That's the next breakdown level. The spies, they close below two different breakout levels. No bottoming signal as we speak right now. So 420.08 is its target. The Dow Diamonds has held its actual. The interesting thing about the Dow. And if you're listening to us during the last hour, the Dow equity future contract, I would assume the Dow as well, uh, broke through. Well, it's really the equity future contract is all I can look at for this. Broke through a key level of support. It's weekly bottom of its profile. But on the Dow Diamond ETF, it just got back to its breakout level, 338.68. So the Diamonds, the ETF, is saying there's nothing wrong inside the Dow. It just went back to its breakout level, and that was the buying opportunity. In the case of the Russell 2000, the IWM, its buying opportunity or its TDI breakout levels in 217.44 area. So the IWM and the DIA are uh, stronger, really, quite frankly, than the Qs or the SPIs. Now, the XLK, it's trading below both the bottom of its daily profile, its breakout level, 153.97. That suggests 148.20 as its downside target. The healthcare sector, XLV, 127.64 as its downside target. The XLF, its downside target would be 34.67. The XLC actually formed a TD9 count bottom. So watch yesterday's low because any close below that says 79.05, possibly 74.54. But it does have a valid bottoming signal. That could take price up to the 83.70 area. Let's switch over and take a look at the remaining sectors of the S&P 500. The next sector is going to be the XLE. The XLE has got still has a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom out here, but really just kind of a consolidation type move. The XLY found support at its breakout area of 178.39. And... Uh, I believe that's it. The music's too loud in my ears to continue. So, folks, stay tuned. You've got two more great hours left. David White, your favorite polar bear with the Power Trading Hour. He's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home, and I'll be back with you tomorrow on wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.